So in this video, we're going to go through how to manually set up your wireless network based on the Piper uh, website information. Um, so the first thing that we've got to do is we've got to exit to the desktop. And to do that, we're going to go to the power button up here in the top right. And we're going to tell it to exit to desktop by clicking this little icon. That's going to put us at the Piper desktop. Uh, and, and so what we're going to do next is we're going to open a terminal and you can see here the terminal icon at the top. So we're just going to click that. Now, a, a couple things, you're going to need a USB keyboard to do this um, because you've got to have some way to type. Uh, there is no uh, screen, uh, keyboard on the screen. Um, the other thing is, is that some of the command, one of the commands you're going to type is going to give you a little bit of a problem because Right now, we're not seeing the entire window. This thing has maximized and some or a lot of the uh, screen is actually not displaying um, where I can see it. Um, so you need to double click on this icon or the bar across the top and that's going to, you'll see it'll show you a scroll bar over here on the right now and we need to do that to make sure that we're seeing the entire screen. Now, the first thing that they want us to do is they want us to type in and you're just going to type this just like it looks on their website so it's it's really not a big deal um, what we've what we're really after and this is a pipe symbol uh, the vertical bar on your keyboard um, what we're uh, really after here is we're after the exact name of your wireless network so when you do this um, as an example i want to connect to this asus uh, wireless network and so, and that's really all I need. I need the name of that network. So you can write that down or if you can remember it, that's fine. Um, but we need to have that exact uh, ID for the network so that we can type it into the next command. So once we have that, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use Nano, which is just an editor, to edit. And I'm just gonna tell you a, a quick way to do this. Um, if you type WPA and hit the tab key on your keyboard, it'll actually finish typing the directory out for you and the same thing you can do um, if you get into that directory you can type wpa tab and it'll finish typing out the other word so all we're doing is editing this configuration file now by default if you don't see any network in here that's what they're really wanting you to add now mine was already connected so you can see that it's already here um, but you're going to type in exactly what this looks you need network equals an open uh, brace and then you're going to type in SSID and then in quotes, you're going to type it exactly like it showed up in that first command. And then for the PSK, you're going to type in the password for your wireless network. Um, now, if you did not double click the header and I'll and I'll actually double click it so you can see what I'm talking about. You see all of the commands down here at the bottom. By default, you're going to be looking at this. And what will happen is when you hit control X, which is the next thing that we need to do, you're not going to see the the prompts down at the bottom. So we want to make sure that you're seeing all of this stuff at the bottom before you do this. Um, so now all we're going to do is we want to save it. So we've typed in our network SSID information, the password. We're going to hit control X. And because I didn't change, in fact, let me do this again and make a change so that you can actually see what you're going to see. Um, so I'll just add a one here. Uh, when I hit control X, it's going to come up and ask me, do you want to save the changes? And I'm going to hit the, the letter Y. And then the website doesn't tell you this, but you're going to hit the enter key next. So the Y to say yes, and then the enter key to actually do it. And then that's going to put you back at the command prompt. And then the last thing that they want you to do is to actually reboot the computer. Um, and to do that, all you're going to do is, let's see, yeah. All you're going to do is do a reboot. I was checking to make sure that I didn't miss any of their instructions. Um, and then that's just going to go back through and reboot the, um, the Piper and hopefully your network will work. Now, I want to mention that when I did this, um, I'm going to go back into Piper real quick. Um, when I did this, I had a, the first three or four times that I went through and uh, set that wireless network um, inside of the Piper uh, program, I, it, it didn't work. And, and I just sat here and nothing ever connected. Um, but I did it three or four times and it eventually actually connected through the, the main interface. Um, but if you do have problems and you can't get that to work, um, you, you can definitely go in and, and follow these instructions and, and hopefully you can get it working.